Ah, uh, okay. Virgil's OP is... Virgil's so OP in that game. It's insane. I love it. Um, but... Uh, uh, like I said, a lot of people put the blame on Ninja Theory, Ninja Theory into me. But a lot of what Ninja Theory wanted to do was be more faithful to the original series. But Capcom kept pushing them to be way more different. And... Oh, man. There... This is going to be the Devil May Cry history stream now. <laughs> because I I have stuff to show <laughs> of how bad it got. Let me see. Where's the desktop? Is this it? There we go. I have such sites to show you for what happened when they started pushing differently and when fans started saying, like, no, this isn't the Devil May Cry that we want. And they were just like, well, that's too bad. Here's the Devil May Cry you're going to get. And they I am having a ton of fun listening to all this, honestly. Ah, uh, thank you. It's uh it was one of my favorite moments in Devil May Cry history was the uh was the 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 camaraderie that all the old fans had to basically rebel against, you know, it's like, hey, we know we take a lot of stuff, we'll we'll accept a lot of things, but like this is one thing that we're not actually gonna take. Uh let's see, in this where is it at? Where's my video games folder? Here it is. And I need to find my Devil May Cry folder. There it is, DMC. So I do have, you know what? I'm just going to make a new folder here. And because because they're all right here, but I don't want to like throw up a lot of stuff. Or I don't want to have to like go through a lot of Devil May Cry memes to get to what I need. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So the, the, this is going to be like a lot of image macros and a lot of memes in general of Devil May Cry. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so not not only does this like extend to Devil May Cry, but it goes back to another game that they made. Um, I think it was like Odyssey of the East or something like that. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there's more. No, that's not it. Yeah, here we go. And then, like, uh, uh, this is a huge history that's, like, all coming back to me. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I can't show that image. Not that it's not safe for work, but it's got some words in it that, uh, that I cannot show. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah. So, I want to say that's it. If that's not it... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. You're probably already seeing them on the, uh, on the thumbnail. Let me move this closer so I don't have to, like, swing all the way. Because I'm using, like, two monitors right now. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, th this is the one that I was looking for. This one had, like, the sales number in it. And this one also had sales numbers in it, too. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm finally finding the, the sales numbers. I background right now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, because I have the, uh... I, I have it slightly cropped for, uh, when I pull up my Steam browser. So that way it only fits that. And I try not to dox my name on it. Not that it means anything. Anyone can add me on Steam if you can catch the name fast enough. Uh, there was also a Devil May Cry comic. Uh, yes, I think that's it. No, wait. Actually, no, that's not it. No, no. Here it is. Here's another one. So, when... When Capcom started pushing them to be more different, they they started to pump out these things. The like they they had an entire uh, presentation about what Devil May Cry is for their series, or what Devil May Cry is going to be for them, and they made a lot of weird comparisons, uh, to say the least, about 
what Devil May Cry is and what Devil May, or what Dante is and what Dante no, is what? not. Yeah, so this right here is supposed to be classic Dante of what they're saying is like like some weird glam rock type stuff. And like their version of Dante is Elvis, which was farthest from the truth. And it gets even more ridiculous because then it's just like, dude, like, hold on, wait, shoot. All right. this popped up on the wrong one. Okay. There we go. And it's just like their version of, da or our version of Dante or, you know, the classic Dante like is, a over the top guy. yeah. And like, they're just like, look, Dante is not this. I have never seen the new Dante. It's, it's bad. I actually have pictures of it. I'll probably even play the uh, the original trailer because honestly, like when I saw the original trailer, I wasn't mad about it. I was like, you know what? This looks different. This looks cool. I, I could probably get down with it. Um, I just want a new Devil May Cry as long as it plays like the old one, like I'll, I'll be fine. And then it didn't play like the old one and it was so much worse. But uh, well, this is so funny. Why yeah, would they do this? I don't. But oh, it, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. Like, look at that. Like, they're just. They're going so off the, they're going so off the rails with it, and like this, like this is real. This like this next image that I show is legit one hundred percent real, and it is ridiculous. And they were just like Dante is a gay cowboy, and it's just like no, you can't do that. But this was like back in like two thousand and like what eleven? I want to say. I don't. I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, it's it was bad. Like, yeah, 2013. So I want to say this was like in 2012. W H O okay this presentation. I don't know, but it was the weirdest presentation ever. There, there's more images, but it was fairly obvious that the that the media was paid. Um, Xbox Xbox Magazine put out a glowing review for this game. I don't have it anymore. But it was a tweet where Xbox put out a glowing review, like a 9 out of 10 for, for DMC Devil May Cry. And they were just like, ha, huh, the game's not even out yet, guys. Or one of the guys, I want to say it was to me, and said like, hey guys, like, you probably reviewed the wrong game. Our game's not out yet. And I want to say it came out like an entire, like the review came out an entire week early. And, uh, and Capcom put a retraction out saying like, oh, sorry, we got some bad info. But then literally a week later, the review dropped and it was a 9 out of 10. So it led a lot of people to believe that the game was being paid or that the reviews were being paid for. And the, a lot of this kind of kind of enforces what the fans were saying, that it was that it was a lot of us. It was a lot of smear campaign against Devil May Cry fans because uh, a lot of what the journalists were I saying. Know. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, we're not we're not getting into that territory. <laughs> But uh, but a lot of what the journalists were saying were like, you know, fans are crying, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it was, it, it was the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest like case of journalists like coming to defend something. And this was in 2013. Well, let's see. What, what's the date on this one? Yeah, so this was in 2013, a, an entire year before those events happened. But if you go through and you actually read what a lot of the fans were saying, they were very well worded. Um, but yeah, uh, so like th this guy, like kind of goes with not against exactly what I was saying, but it's a point that I missed earlier. Trying to frame the fans as being babies instead of the game being bad. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. So like he, he even points out here, had Brad played any of the other Devil May Cry series, he would know this. He would know that the controls have been simplified, which they were, they, they were drastically simplified. Um, it played more like the original God of War trilogy where the dodge button was mapped to the right analog stick. I want to say, uh, if, if I remember properly, I only ever, I only ever really played the demo. And then when the PC version came out, I managed to legally acquire it for a day before I felt ripped off. <laughs> so I only played it for like a few minutes. I only played it past the first boss. But yeah, the the fans go into you know un unnecessary elemental systems, which was something that was in the game. Uh, it was never in any of the other. I mean, it was in the it was in the previous Devil May Cry games, uh, but it wasn't as bad as DMC had it, where it had blue and red weapons, 
where they would, uh, like, you know, you had to use angel weapons on angelic enemies and you had to use demon weapons on demon enemies. But the thing is, is like the, all the demon weapons were super slow and all the angel weapons were really fast, but did very little damage, making some of those fights just, not impossible, but just a real chore to get through. Uh, there, it was true there were fewer enemies and that the enemies were a lot slower. Uh, fewer moves and strategies was one of the biggest things about that about DMC. Um, like there, there just wasn't there wasn't as as a as a wide a range of moves as as like previous Devil May Cry, or at least at least compared to Devil May Cry 4. Um, but yeah, like you, you can see some of these posts just like going into the technical aspects of it. And it's it's crazy. And but then like, you know, you, you just get the journalist saying Devil May Cry is a video game. You're throwing a hissy fit because a character in a spin-off video game has different backstory and hair color. And that that's all they ever boiled it down to was just like the fans were complaining about the hair color. But, like, the thing is, is, like, this was never supposed to be a spin-off game. Like, this was going to be the new canon for Devil May Cry. Uh, and a lot of people didn't like that because Devil May Cry 4 just ended on a cliff. It doesn't end on a cliffhanger, but it ends with so much more that they could do. And, and like, Devil May Cry 5 proved that, that they could do so much more. Um, let's see. And then you, you get into, like, some of the original character designs for Dante where it's it's very obvious like that they were traced actually i should have shown this image first Th this was one that i forgot but yeah like you you do the comparison because i i remember seeing some of these i was like yo like a lot of these look super familiar like honestly i was going to say this one's probably the witcher like uh the witcher 2 cover rather than a uh, mass effect but yeah there, there's that one and this one looks super familiar, the middle one. I just don't know where it's from. But, uh, like, the, the, this was one of the things that people were complaining about, was, like, the obvious, like, tracing of art and stuff like that. Which I, I'm i not going to fault it for that. It's it's honestly the least offensive thing that they did for this uh, this series. But then you, you get into the sales where they start, where, you know, you you had the, you know, you had the, the journalists running coverage, running damage control for the series. And then and then you also have the de the the developers themselves or you know, like I said the developers themselves doing stuff like this. Uh insulting the fans, calling the fans gay, saying that, you know, they're not Elvis Presley, whatever that means, saying that they're this like hair metal bands and it's just like you're you're getting into a lot of stuff that you don't want to, you know, insult. Um, and then, you know, you get into the sales where, like, it just bombed in Japan. It sold half of what DMC4 sold. And half of what DMC4 sold? Half of what DMC4 sold... Let me see if I can find the sales numbers and again. the assumptions are just so weird. Yeah, they, they really are weird. Let me see if I can find these sales numbers again. Because if it sold half of what... D now that I think about it, if it sold half of that, then that means that it sold... Here it is. Here's the sale numbers for the whole series. No... Okay, so th this is something else, but it it shows er like actually this this is a pretty good uh, reason why you should play uh, Devil May Cry in its uh, chronological order. Features added, which is just the base game. Uh, I'll get into this one later. Th this is actually really good, but uh, I'm gonna get sidetracked if I do that. Uh, give me a second, let me find it. I know I have the sales numbers in here somewhere. can't find it anymore let's see uh, I like that image it's a uh, just a funny meme 60 frames haha let's see I can't find the sales numbers anymore I know it's oh here here they are here they are okay so Half of what DMC4 sold was so like what's what's half of one point or two point three like one point one five million just to simplify it just to like round down. So that that's even less of what Devil May Cry sold. That's that's about on par with what Devil May Cry three sold, 
And the only reason Devil May Cry 3 sold so poorly was because it was jumping off of what Devil May Cry 2 was. And a lot of people weren't weren't a fan of Devil May Cry 2. So when Devil May Cry 3 came out, it did very poorly. But when Word of Mouth got around, then yeah, but but then when Word of Mouth got around, it uh it greatly improved uh DMC4 cells. And yeah, um Devil May Cry DMC was projected to sell uh 5 million on launch but because of constant backlash and just shooting themselves in the foot they reverted it to 2 million and then after that projected sales from you know it it just states it right there was 500,000 pre-orders weren't any, anywhere near that um let me see if i can find the image again <laughs> this is like this is me being a history teacher for video games now so then here you go, you, you get end up like what it sold half, well, I don't know, I, Jeez. yeah. So actually, I mean, like, the, on, honestly, now, now that I think about it, this this is most likely worldwide. But, I mean, you still, like, half. Oh, actually, no, it does sell, It does tell you. The MC4 sold 205,000 on PS3 and 40,000 on Xbox 360 in its debut week for a total of 245,000 copies. So they're saying that Devil May Cry 4 sold half of that, which DMC4 selling 115,000 copies and 5,857 copies on PS3 or PS3 and Xbox 360, placing it first in the 17th in first and 17th place. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, um, on top of all of this, the reason why it also sold so poorly too was because I don't have the images anymore, but there was a marketing campaign by the fans to grit Devil May to, because uh, Devil May Cry the HD trilogy had released a about a month prior to the series to or to the to the reboot, so they ended up doing a campaign to boost the sales of the HD trilogy to show you know. Capcom like hey we still want more of the original we don't want this one and I remember seeing the sales on Amazon and the sales were insane like like Devil May Cry the HD trilogy jumped up to I want to say the top 10 yeah it was in the top 10 for a good solid while while DMC was like still just coming out and then yeah, that's that's the whole story of how it flopped and failed. Actually, I'm going to show the uh oof. Yeah, oof indeed. Let me see. Where is my YouTube? Here we go. So, let's close this out. That that Oh yeah, here we go. Uh edition bomb. Oh, defin Wait, which one was this? Oh, I think this was when they re-released it. Yeah, this was when they re-released it on PS4 and Xbox One. I knew it One. was a well-loved series, so I figured that the remake would be popular. No, it was... I had no idea it was so poorly managed. <laughs> yeah, it was It was very poorly managed on Capcom and Ninja Theory's part. But yeah, like... Well, why did they re-release a failed game? <laughs> because they were, re they were still trying to push DMC to the fans, but no one was having it. And like, you can see the sales numbers. Like four, like around four, like not even like five thousand, not even four thousand here. But it was it was bad. It was it was a catastrophe of a series. Uh, some people will bring up like sales numbers, like back when you could you back when you used to be able to see Steam sales or not Steam sales, but uh, how many people owned copies of a game on Steam? I think it was like Steam. It wasn't Steam charts. It was something similar to it though. But you could see how many people own that copy, or, or own that game. But Steam started blocking off analytics, so you couldn't see it anymore. But it did show that a lot of people owned Devil May Cry or DMC. But what it didn't tell you was that a lot of those uh, copies came from Humble Bundles. Because anytime Capcom ever did a Humble Bundle, it was always paired with like Devil May Cry at the lowest tier to boost sales numbers. But it it never really worked out, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I guess fortunately, because then then we never would have gotten Devil May Cry. Let's see. No, that wasn't gonna dox anything. There we go. This might dox something. I don't know. It gives me weird stuff. Let's see. Oh no. 
Let me switch accounts. There we go. So, DMC. Hold on, real quick. about that the dog snuck out of his uh his leash but uh oh yeah i remember this uh she did do a pretty good uh breakdown of the of the series probably much more than i than i can um oh yeah i was looking for the original trailer so like i i, I don't hate the original trailer i i think it's fine i think it's an okay trailer uh, a lot of people, like, really, really shat on it. Like, really bad. But, like I said, I, I honestly didn't mind it too much. I'm going to make myself smaller. So I can... So that way you can see it. Like, I thought I thought it was an interesting intro to the to the world that we were going to get. Because I, I remember reading a lot of the original design documents where a lot of it was it going to end up taking place in Dante's head. Or like, I guess it was going to be like, oh, what was that? What was that stupid movie? Um, I don't remember. But the, the this trailer is just like wild. <laughs> It was like so radically different than what like people were used to for Devil May Cry, but I didn't mind it. But yeah, that's that's when a lot of people like really got mad at it when they were just like, "That's not Dante. This is this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen." But honestly, I didn't think it was that bad of a trailer. I thought it was okay. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't like the this. editing feels so edgy, like Cry of Fear. Silent yeah, beats Michael Bay. It it really was like the, the the original design documents from what I remember. Uh, let me see. Yeah, right here, right here. So. I think it is here. No, it's, it's, it's the part where, like, he, like, skizzes out. I don't remember where it is. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there where he's, like, where he's, like, having a, having a weird breakdown or something like that. Um, this could have been a cool, unique IP. Yeah, it, 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 it most likely could have. Um, but what originally was in the de design documents was that Dante was literally here. He, he was like in a prison cell or something like this or, or some type of holding facility. And a lot of a lot of it was going on inside of his head. Um, it, it felt like it was supposed to be more of a horror game. Uh, kind of going back to the original Devil May Cry series. Uh, because the original Devil... Or not the original Devil May Cry series, but the original Devil May Cry. Uh, because the original Devil May Cry did have a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of horror element to it but that like i said that, that was most likely because of it being base being the basis for resident evil 4 uh if you didn't know devil may cry 1 was actually resident evil 4 but due to bugs and just combat that was completely different than than resident evil it ended up becoming its own ip um but yeah like the I'm really trying to remember the name of that that movie. Was it like Blond Bomb Bombshell or something like that? I don't know. It was it was like this weird Zack Zack Snyder movie where it was like this girl was like in a mental asylum or something like that, and she would have like visions where she would be fighting in like World War Two in a cheerleading outfit or something like that. 
I don't remember what the name of that movie was called. Uh, let me see. That I'm pretty sure it was Zack Snyder because uh, when I when I think of that movie, it it looks like that Zack Snyder movies. Let's see. Uh... Oh, Sucker Punch. That's what it was. Like sucks. So, like I, I get the feeling that it was like this was originally going to be. No, wait. When did Sucker Punch come out? Sucker Punch came out in. 2011. So yeah, I, I could see this end up being, like, based off of Sucker Punch, where, you know, a lot of it's going on inside of his head or something like that. Or he, he does have something, but a lot of it is mainly, you know, just stuck in his head. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't I didn't think it was a bad trailer, like a lot of other people thought. But then, I'm, I'm just going to play the Devil May Cry 5 trailer. Oh, I try five. E three. Tra no, I don't want the reaction. I just want the E three trailer. But then, like you know, that that happened, and then you know all the history that I talked about before happened, and then basically everyone just assumed Devil May Cry was dead, and you know for good reasons. Um, you know, four didn't sell as where as well as it was projected to. Uh, there was huge backlash against DMC, so any chance of ever putting out a... Like, e even if they did, it still would have crashed because of past history with the first uh, reboot game. So everyone just assumed Devil May Cry was, was just dead. It was gone. Like, we weren't going to get any more. We were just stuck with, like, 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 <laughs> and the reboot and the anime. Which, honestly, like, it wasn't bad. It was... It was kind of cool. Like uh, we we had our own like the Devil May Cry community had their own little their own little pool and we had our own little discussions and you know it was it was it was fun times. Well, not fun times, but it, we we made the best of it. But then like E3 2018 happens and then this trailer drops and it just it made everyone go crazy. Because and then it, it like people will still say like, "Oh, like you can't trust Capcom after DMC." But DMC5 really is a love letter to the series. Uh, to the series and to the fans. They, they even make jokes at DMC's expense. You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this? But this... Oh, man. And then it just opens up with, like... And like I, I, I knew it was like Devil May Cry instantly. Hey, honey. Need assistance? And it just had the most fire theme song ever. And like everyone's so cool in this game and lame at the same time. You're up, crew cut. No, yeah, people were so happy to see Nero back. They were just like, oh my god, I can't believe Nero's back. When, like, everyone hated Nero for the better part of, like, a decade. But it was like, never in my life had I ever been so happy to see Nero. Nero is a new character that they introduced in uh, DMC4. Oh man, this song's so good. And like, every song in this game is good, except for the ex except for Dante's theme. It's such a good trailer, and it's it really was like just. Oh yeah, and then and then they do the Dante reveal at the end. It was just like yo. I had no idea what game this song came from until now. <laughs> yeah, it's Double May Cry. There's Double May Cry Five. Uh, here and then. 
Can I find the e Yeah, I, th I think this is it. This should be it. Yeah, that's that's the whole trailer. I don't want to I'm trying to get Here we go. And then you just hear like the entire crowd so hyped for Dante's return. Oh, God dang it. I'm, I'm trying to find where Itsuno comes out on stage and he's just like, Devil May Cry is back. You know what? I, I don't want to because I, I, I don't want to like steal someone else's content, but this is the only one that I know of where like he actually legit comes back. Like he like Itsuno comes back on stage. That's the sickest logo in the world, by the way. Oh. I see. I don't know what you're saying. Ichiban says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because it's yeah. for you, our fans. <laughs> yeah, see, so that, that that's where he was like, you know, Itsuno actually came out and it's just like, nah, we're, we're making this game for you, the fans, as like a love letter. And like, that, yeah, that, that was cool. That was legit cool. It was the coolest thing ever. Let's see. But yeah, that's been my TED talk on Devil May Cry. Unless there's an oh yeah, actually there there was something else I wanted to talk about, which was the uh uh here it is. Here we go. Yeah, so the the this will probably be like the last thing that I talk about. And then I'm gonna go take a quick minute break. Because I've been drinking a lot of water. Um so the the evolution of the Devil May Cry series and like it it goes into like this stuff too. Extra content. <laughs> um, so th this is why I tell everyone that they should play the Devil May Cry series in its chron chronological order because of the way that it improves on. So you get you get the base game. Uh, so you know you you get the base game features removed and stuff like that. So you know unique playable characters, which was which did eventually become a staple. So Devil May Cry 2 had two playable characters. Uh, as I said, Primitive Aerial Raid, uh, Rainstorm, Two Some Time, uh, Instant Gun Switching, Lock On Display, and Bloody Palace, which Bloody Palace is a survival mode that has gone on to, that has been a part of every game except for the original release of Devil May Cry 3. Um, the things that they did remove was instant sword switching and combat that <laughs> isn't stiff as hell. <laughs> So they, they did mess up the combat a little bit, or a lot. Uh, what Devil May Cry 3 improved upon was completely reworked the combat, the styles, which I showed a little bit of, uh, instant devil arm switching, which was re which you know was basically re-added back in, heaven or hell difficulty. Uh, is it? Yeah, heaven or hell is a difficulty where everything dies in one hit, but so do you. It's it's a cool it's a really cool difficulty, uh, Devil Trigger Explosion, which each game had a Devil Trigger, but what Devil Trigger Explosion was was the ability to hold your Devil Trigger button, and after maxing it out, you could release an explosion, which caused massive amounts of damage if you comboed it with the right, with the uh, the right weapons. Uh, Turbo Mode, which just doubled the speed of the game, and then they removed water levels, which is cool. Uh, because there was water levels in this one, and they were kind of bad. They they weren't that bad, honestly. And then Devil May Cry 4. Uh, instant style switching, so that's basically what I was doing now. They, they added style switching into the Switch version of Devil May Cry 3. So the Switch version of Devil May Cry 3 is now the definitive way to play Devil May Cry 3, at least. Uh, Double Trigger Distortion, which was basically Explosion, but it was it worked a little differently. Uh, Devil Bringer, which was Nero's ability right there, his his devil arm. Uh, sprinting, so after running for like a few seconds, the sprint would kick in and you'd run a lot faster. Legendary Dark Knight difficulty is the most insane difficulty ever. It just like, it's not hard. I actually I want to say it's it's hard difficulty, but the amount of enemies on screen is insane, like ridiculous. Uh. Hell or Hell, which was, I want to say Hell, or, Hell and Hell was like you die in one hit, but the enemies are at very hard difficulty. And then they reworked Bloody Palace, which did, it wasn't that much of a rework. It was, it was basically just a hundred levels, you go through it all, and then you're done. Uh, 
separate character campaigns and some styles were 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 removed which were only like two that were kind of optional styles uh they yeah they, they were styles but they were kind of different and then devil may cry comes in or dmc comes in and doesn't add any of this in they don't add anything all, all they do is demon dodge which is just switch time which is dodge to slow down time uh, what they did end up removing was Styles, Legendary, Dark Knight, Distortion, Lock-On, Taunting, Turbo Mode. Oh yeah, uh, base game had Taunting as well, as well as throughout all the series. Uh, Lock-On, Turbo Mode, removed but placed as DLC was Huge. yeah was Virgil and Unlockable Costumes, as well as Bloody Palace came later as a DLC. Uh, honestly, Devil May Cry 5 ended up putting virgil as a dlc character too so it didn't do well it did a lot better but that that part was kind of was kind of scummy but yeah that was my entire devil may cry ted talk on the series and why i love it still and then you know you can you can still buy dmc is this the definitive edition no actually i think the definitive edition was just the pc version uh later ported to ps4 and xbox one because I, I remember what a lot of people were saying also about devil may cry or dmc was that it was only going to be 30 frames per second um the game was locked at 30 frames per second on consoles but on P pc it was 60 frames 60 fps which a lot of people were mad about because devil may cry 4 was 60 fps and i want to say 3 was also 60 fps but yeah it was a uh, it was crazy uh it, it was definitely a magical time 2013 actually hold on wait when, when was the original release again when was the original uh, dmc when, when did that first trailer drop dmc and devil may cry trailer when did that trailer drop trailer dropped 11 years ago jeez Taylor dropped in like 2011, so between 2011 and the release of the game, following up all the way to basically when everyone thought DMC was dead after the DMC Definitive Edition release, it was it was a crazy time for Double May Cry fans. And then, um, and then DMC Five dropped, and I guess people are happy now. Uh, you you can you can still find some people that are still bitter about the whole thing. I'm not I'm not so much anymore uh it it does suck that it took us like oh man like when did dmc come out or devil may cry 4 come out again Devil may cry 4 came out in 2008 that's right and then devil may cry 5 came out in 2019 it took 11 years for us to get wait 10 years yeah yeah, it took, it took it like roughly ten and a half years for us to get another true Double May Cry sequel. Years. Yeah, it was it was the most insane thing ever, and like, and like, there 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 were like jokes on the internet. It was like, oh, no one suffers more than Double May Cry fans. They they literally had their company like shit on them for five years straight basically like if you count the release from this trailer leading all the way up until like just all support was dropped for dmc i want to say it was like roughly five years five, five or four years uh give or take um i don't know actually let me see when the definitive edition dropped because Is the series done now then? uh it's up in the air honestly um Itsuno says that he wants to work on a 6, but I think he's working on Dragon's Dogma 2 now. I hope he's working on Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is one of my favorite games. Let's see. Let's get back into this. <laughs> how long How long of a rant was that? I don't know. But I, I hope he is. Um, as much as I would like to see Devil May Cry 6, I also want to see... Uh, Devil May, or not Devil May, I, I also want to see Dragon's Dogma 2, 